Good morning, everyone. Greetings from the World Hydrogen Summit in Rotterdam. My name is Erika and I am representing Tussegrub Nocera in the Middle East. It is my first time here in Rotterdam and it is fascinating to see the vibes and enthusiasm of all the people when it comes to green hydrogen. Today as Tussegrub Nocera, I would like to show you our product Scalum, which is an alkaline water electrolysis. So here you can see our product Scalum. It has a capacity of 20 megawatt. At full load operation, it can produce up to 4,000 novel cubic meters of hydrogen per hour. Here um, on this slide, we can see one of the single cell elements and we have 300 of them in the electrolyzer stack. Below the electrolyzer stack, we have the cell feed and discharge. Here we are also storing the electrolyte. Later we have also the process section in which also the hydrogen will be treated. Here we can see also a long list of different kind of features which Tyson is offering. But I want to highlight here two aspects. First one is quality and longevity of our proven cell design. Our single cell element is based on our chloralkali electrolysis. Here we have more than 50 years of experience. Secondly, the fast dynamics. Of course, all of our clients want to combine our water electrolysis with a renewable energy source directly, such as solar or wind. So of course, the abil ability to react fast to these renewable energy profiles will be key to fully decarbonize our sectors. All of our projects have in common that fully renewable energy will be utilized for the operation of the water electrolysis. Therefore, the availability to react instantly to the uh, fluctuating profiles is crucial for the technology. And one of the projects is called Holland Hydrogen One. It is a project of Shell and will be located here at the port of Rotterdam. And it will have the capacity of 200 megawatt. So 10 times of our scalum will be provided. So let us assume that, for example, 50% of total electrolyzer load will be required. So the question is, how shall be the 50% load distributed? Let's say we have 10 bars representing the 10 modules operational. So an idea could be that all of the modules will be operated at 50% load. Another idea could be that only half of the electrolyzers will be operated at full load and the other half will be not operated at all. What do you think? What will be the correct answer? I'm actually a mean person, so I haven't shown you the correct answer here because the actual solution is to set individual electrolyzer loads at every module. So this is possible with the advanced process control in order to optimize the overall operation and performance. The question is, what is advanced process control? In short, APC. APC is quite common in many technologies, but not so yet in water electrolysis. It can contain many different kinds of modules, such as a thermodynamic model, a chemical module, or a techno-economical module. So these kind of modules will be combined, and the APC is going to determine the optimal solution of the electrolyzer load for every single one of the module. This will also include the actual process uh, condition, the equipment installed, or some maintenance constraints. There are two different aspects of added value for the client. The first one is, let's say we have a set input before the electrolyzer, so there is amount of electrical energy already set, so we can maximize 
the hydrogen production or the electrolyzer operation. Another aspect could be that at the output side, the hydrogen production rate is fixed, but we have flexibility in varying the input. So we can aim to minimize the power consumption. So these are the advantages, but how is it actually going to happen with the APC? In order to understand the concept, I would like to explain it with an analogy. So let us imagine, instead of the 10 modules, we have 10 marathon runners. Even if all 10 marathon runners will start to run at the same time, it is optimistic to think that they will run with the same pace and that it is uh, even, not uh, even not realistic that they will reach the goal at the same time. So this is also applicable for the water electrolysis. They can have slightly different performances during the operation and that is what we want to first determine in the first step in the base strategy. So we will have the identical load for all of the electrolyzers and determine the individual health condition. In the second step for the performance strategy, we are going to utilize that knowledge of the individual health condition. Going back to the analogy of the marathon runners, I, let's say I'm going to distribute stones to the marathon runners, which they have to carry along the way. So why should I give the same amount of stones to an untrained a handicapped person in comparison to some other runners who are trained and healthy? So this concept is also applicable for the water electrolysis. Healthier water electrolyzers will have a higher load while some other less healthier modules will have a lower load. So that is considered for the performance strategy. Moving on to the third step with the maintenance strategy, uh, I would like to go back again to the analogy of the marathon runners. Some of you are aware that marathon runners will usually keep the pace uh, during the majority of the race, but for the final kilometers, they are conserving the energy to fully speed up. So also here for the water electrolysis, we can also maximize the last uh, time of their life and this also considering some other modules which uh, may be refurbished at a later stage. Here we can consider not only the refurbishment schedule based on the knowledge of the health condition, but also we can operate the electrolyzers based on the schedule which is originally targeted. And in the final step, in the fourth step, we can even combine these strategies. All of them are mixed together so we can fully optimize the performance, which also leads to the cost reduction during electrolyzer operation. I hope I was able to create further understanding for our product and capabilities. So please feel free to reach out to ThyssenKrupp Nocera so we can shape the new era together.